This is a tutorial on how to fit your compression fitting in your box as well as the copper tubing into the compression fitting. Remember to always wear safety glasses in the shop. The compression fitting is made up of three pieces, being a receiving fitting, a compression ring, and a compression nut. The compression fitting works by sandwiching the compression ring, deforming it, and seizing it around the copper tube. Be careful because after tightening the compression nut, the compression ring will be deformed and it can't be removed off of the copper tube. There are other sized compression rings such as those seen here. Always orient the longer taper end downwards into the receiving fitting. In this case, the smaller diameter into the receiving fitting. For the 8th inch compression fitting, use a half inch wrench for the compression nut and either a 7 16 or half inch wrench depending on the receiving fitting. For the quarter inch compression fitting, use either a half inch or 9 16 wrench depending on the compression nut and a 9 16 wrench for the receiving fitting. Unscrewing the receiving fitting into the PVC tube, insert the end opposite of the side with the inner filleted edge you see here into the PVC tube. You'll notice that this side is slightly tapered. Before screening your receiving fitting, be sure to wrap your threads around one or two times with Teflon tape to ensure a proper seal. Be sure to orient the direction of the tape around the threads in the proper direction to ensure that the tape does not unravel when screwing the receiving fitting into the T. When the end that will be screwed in the PVC T is oriented upwards, the tape should be wrapped around the threads clockwise. A good way to remember this is to apply the tape around the threads as if you are screwing the compression fitting into the tape. Remember to keep the tape taut as you apply it around the threads. After applying the tape, remove any excess tape that lies over the hole that could potentially enter your system. Insert your compression fitting into the PVC T so at least three threads remain exposed above the T. Lastly, place a compression net followed by the compression ring onto the copper tube. Place the copper tube into the receiving fitting, then hand tighten the compression nut. To seal your compression fitting, further rotate your compression nut one half rotation while supporting the receiving fitting with another wrench.